hope you're doing well today. Got a quick video for you on uh, our banjo positioning and pain that we may be experiencing. You know, every time I get three or four people mentioning something to me, I go, okay, it's time to make a video on this. All right. So let's say you are experiencing shoulder pain in your fretting hand. Okay. So you've got shoulder pain in your fretting hand. Here are some things to consider, all right, that might help. Um, first of all, where do you put your banjo, okay? So you're sitting down. This is not for people who are standing up, all right? This is for people who are sitting down. You're sitting down and you have your banjo resting in the middle of your lap here in between your legs, all right? And you have it straight out like a guitar. So my reach is like this if I'm gonna play like that, right? And I'm not here to get on to you about your positioning as far as, um, you know, do what's comfortable for you. If you don't have any kind of shoulder pain, then this video may not be for you, okay? Don't worry about it. I'm not addressing any of that. Only for people who are having problems, okay? So, our reach here may impact our shoulder, our elbow, our wrist, every part of our hand that we're using to fret, okay? So, um, the first thing I would say to do is consider taking the banjo from the middle between your legs and placing it on the outside edge of your leg, all right? So, what did that do there? That brought my reach in considerably. So, watch this. Watch this reach. We've got the banjo uh, neck like that. Bring it up. Okay, so bring it up and look at that close reach there that I have between my uh, shoulder and my hand there. Now let me move it back to where I did have it before, okay? Watch how far of a distance I just went. Then let's go even farther by doing this number. Okay, you can see there's a huge, there's a huge difference there. There's a huge difference. That may be the only thing you need to do to fix all of your fretting, arm, hand, wrist issues. You might be done, okay? Now, it'll take some getting used to if you've been playing like this and you go to playing like this because your right hand changed, I said right hand, da, 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 da. your strumming, frailing, claw hammer hand changed, right? It changed at the same time. And it went that same distance. There you go. It traveled that same large distance, didn't it? Right? Okay. So you may have a little bit of adjustment there to do. Give it a try. Try it out. See if that helps, okay? Then further than that, here's something else we can do. I'd say this is a last ditch effort because this costs you money. <laughs> So I would not do this unless I've exhausted all other things. But you can get a short scale banjo, an A scale banjo. It basically takes you down a couple of frets, right? So that would bring your reach in even further if you had a short scale banjo, okay? Obviously I'd recommend that you try to play those first before you go out and buy one if you can. Um, but I just wanted to make a quick little video here talking about mo mostly shoulder, but shoulder, uh, anything down your arm, if you're experiencing any of that. If you're not, don't worry about it, okay? This is only if you're experiencing these issues. Um, all right. I hope that quick little video has been a help to you, and I hope you got something out of it. And before I go, I always want to remind you that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye, y'all. Hey, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe down below. Do me that favor. Help me grow this channel.